Well, talk about some earth shattering news. What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John and yeah. I was just chilling, eating a croissant and then I read about this news, my literal jaw dropped. Cause yeah, Daredevil Born Again in its current iteration is being scrapped and they're starting over from scratch. A total creative overhaul. Literally who expected this? I can say for sure that no one did because we were all hella shocked when this news dropped. There are two lenses that we can look at this from, first we have the Daredevil side and then we have the overall Disney Plus side, but let's talk about the Daredevil side. So they had about half of the episodes done before the strike. So what's being reported is that some episodes and scenes will be intact in this new iteration, but my guess is that's going to be very general stuff, like the stuff that Kevin Feige wants to keep, and that doesn't affect the specifics, like Kingpin being mayor or the Punisher being involved. But outside of that, they're going to restructure this whole thing. They're getting new writers, new directors to form an entirely new narrative. And the way it was sounding, yeah, Foggy needed to scrap this because the Netflix Daredevil fans would go ballistic. Foggy and Karen would have been shot dead and that's why Matt retired as Daredevil for a year. And that was in the first episode, so not a great start at all. And Matt wouldn't have worn his suit until episode 4 of this series. Listen, I love the lawyer side of Daredevil, but he's Daredevil. He's got to wear the suit by at least episode 2. Then in general, it was reported that the show did not have the Netflix feel at all, and Feige did not like that. So everything we're hearing, yeah, this was worthy of being scrapped. It just, it was not working as Feige thinks himself. I'm all for the Mark Wade version of Daredevil in the MCU. He's fun. He's more acrobatic. This is great. Great, don't change this. We don't have to go back to the dark and gritty. But my take is get the Netflix writers back. I mean, really, you want the show to feel like Netflix? Do do it. Make it happen. Feige can make it clear that there are some guidelines that you have to follow, but you know, bring back Bullseye, bring back Foggy and Karen, get the aspects that all worked and just bring them back together. There's nothing really in the Netflix Daredevil show that contradicts the MCU. Maybe the MCU wants to redo the hand. Fair. You can do these small changes, but a spiritual season. Season 4, you can make that work, you can make that happen, Feige just needs to make it happen. But I'm proud for Feige cancelling, scrapping this iteration, because if it doesn't work, he's gonna get his ass handed to him. The Netflix Daredevil fans will make sure of that, he will never hear the end of it. You need to get this right. And Feige thought the quality wasn't what the fans deserved, and as a result, he scrapped it. And, and he did it while they were filming, which is crazy. But it needed to be done and this ties into the larger grand scheme of Disney Plus MCU series. Because in addition to this, Marvel Studios is completely restructuring how they put out Disney Plus MCU series. There are a ton of reported issues and problems behind the scenes that show just how messy this process has been. It took them four years, but they finally figured it out. I mean, better late than never. They didn't think it was a good idea to have a showrunner until She-Hulk. Isn't that absolutely crazy? Instead of showrunners, they had film executives running these things. Uh speechless. They didn't have a central vision. They had a fix it and post attitude, which is just terrible. They were looking at these shows as more setup and not multi-season arcs that these characters could have. This is the most corporate Disney thing I've ever heard. It's just a cog in the machine. It's not even a creatively fulfilling process that they've been doing. And what was the catalyst for deciding to change this all? Well, it was Secret Invasion. And if you read the behind the scenes of that, it's absolutely insane. And we know how the show turned out. Absolute mess. Foggy and Marvel Studios are making their mission to change all of this, change the entire process behind the scenes. They're gonna actually have showrunners, which is like, I, I don't know, a, any, a guy off the street could have told you to, to hire a showrunner. And, and they're gonna have Bibles for these, for these stories. They're gonna have a through line. And they're gonna stop making these six episode events. They're actually gonna make these shows shows. The way things were, these shows were like products to them. Feige's been stretched too thin and I think for a while he's had the attitude of like, that'll do or that's enough. And that's simply not gonna cut it anymore. Fans have noticed it, they're tired of it, and Feige has had his wake up. Disney Plus really hurt the MCU because they were just putting out mediocre content and they, they need to start making memorable content that is gonna be up there with Netflix's Daredevil because there's not a single MCU show that touches, even touches Daredevil. They need to look at it as art, not as a product. And it seems like it's going to be happening starting with Born Again. Thank you. 
And y'all know that I do like some of the Disney Plus MCU shows, but things certainly have to improve and it looks like they're gonna start doing it. So we're gonna see. I'm excited for this new take on Born Again. Y'all can do it. I believe in you. But tell me in the comments down below, what do you think about all this crazy news about Daredevil and the MCU? Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That'll be all for me. Remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.